Hi Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading for September 2023. The books you can see here at the sides are from the Oracle decks I'm going to be using for the reading today and the book in the middle is a very very vintage tarot handbook. So I actually ordered one of these from World of Books and by mistake they sent me two. I did tell them that they'd sent me an extra book by mistake but they said that I should give it to charity. But what I want to do instead, I've said a million times on the channel already that I'm actually a Libra. So my birthday is on Friday the 13th, um, which I've learned is a day that's actually Friday the 13th is associated with the Divine Feminine. Um, Libra is also associated with the Divine Feminine and Venus, which um, Libra is ruled by Venus. I'm actually, um, I have... Libra in Venus or Venus in Libra whichever way around it is as well so that's a lot of divine feminine energy um, funnily enough my 13th birthday was also on Friday the 13th and I don't typically associate the number with bad luck but let's just say my 13th birthday party was a bit of an awkward disaster but that could be because everybody was around the same age and it's an awkward age um, also my 18th birthday was on Friday the 13th as well so milestone birthdays on Friday the 13th yeah <laughs> take that as you will anyway um, so this is going to be a birthday giveaway this book so it's going to be free if you would like the book for free send me an email my email address is either on my about page or in the description box um, if no one responds it will go to the charity shop if one person responds that person will get the book automatically and if I get multiple responses um, I think I'll pull a name out of a hat or something and the, the person who gets the book will be announced on my birthday on Friday the 13th anyway let's get on with your reading for October and see what comes up for you and we're going to start with my favorite tarot deck which is the everyday witch tarot deck here and we're gonna get your main theme for October so what is Capricorn's main theme or focal point for October please what's the main theme for Capricorn for October that was very quick I don't trust it it's the wow that doesn't shock me it's the tower but I don't trust it so I'm going to try that again it may come out again Capricorn's main theme okay judgment I might as well have kept the and justice wow I might as well have kept the tower because yeah judgment and justice that's huge and I will confess Capricorn this is the third attempt I've done a reading for you and I think in both readings something came up about massive um the tower I mean the tower isn't here yet again it came out the first time but um justice came out twice in the last one and there was a lot about your soul's path um, potential spiritual awakening or key points in a spiritual awakening so that doesn't surprise me um, and justice is actually a Libra oh, towers on the bottom of the deck oh my god the tower is on the bottom of the deck with the six of cups the hermit okay yeah it's I think the energy is probably going to be similar to be honest um, but as I say I kept on attempting the reading and like halfway through it didn't feel right so then I kept on starting it again and I had technical issue issues as well technical issues which made me start the readings again but it looks like I'm trying to run away from an energy that it literally it, that's just what the energy is but I think it's big October's a big month for you um I think there will be heavy reviews of the past um you'll very much be deciding what what you feel will be justified for you moving forward and as I say I wouldn't be surprised if you are experiencing or are in a key part of a spiritual awakening um, so let's see what you get from the oracle deck actually I need to get the rest of these cards but you know what let's get the oracle card before I even continue so what else does Capricorn need to know in terms of oracle cards surrender procrastination now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success so we'll put that there and then I'll continue to get your tarot cards and then I'll get the the other oracle card for you as well so I've done things a bit mixed up. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. There's something very chaotic. Um, October could potentially be a chaotic month for you because I say, as I say, I've attempted the reading three times now. I've had technical difficulties, all sorts. So could be a lot going on for you. Let's get your specific energy. And I'm using, see, I'm using the wrong deck now to, um, to get the main cards out. So there could be something quite chaotic, potentially confusing. You had the moon a lot in the previous readings where something was hidden. 
Right, so this is your energy, Queen of Cups and Knight of Cups. Let's get any external energies or surrounding energies that are impacting anything, whether it be a person, a situation, planetary transits, anything, Eight of Swords we have here. Any past energies. You have the sun. Present or current energies, please. King of Pentacles, that would kind of be you. I mean, I know it's Taurus, but it's still an earth sign. So anything else? You have the lovers in the future. And card of advice, not that one. You have, oh, that's too many. Try that again. Capricorn's card of advice. You have temperance in reverse. Okay, and we'll get your final oracle card, which is from the Live Vampires deck. And I think I've said this before that I've, I've always been from an inappropriately young age, a massive fan of horror films and mythology, magic, mystical stuff. Um, one of my favourite films of all time is The Lost Boys, a vampire film from the 1980s. And I was quite a massive fan of the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie as well, to name one of many vampire films that I love. So... And that was that film came out in not the 90s, early 90s, I think. But anyway, ooh, that was quick. And strangely, as I've talked about vampires, <laughs> you get the call of the night. Daring, adventure, excitement. Yeah, the themes are still sim similar for you, Capricorn. Um, you get enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. I was actually going to say the sun for me when it came out felt like enlightenment or il sorry, illumination, not enlightenment in this reading so is the hermit going to come out with enlightenment or the hanged man possibly um so let's get let's get your clarifiers so your main theme being justice and judgment um karmic justice by any chance karmic contracts i don't know let's see what comes out for you just a point out I remember saying I believe it could have been the last reading or one of the recent readings there was something about things needing to change I know there was a reading where I said are you praying for a tower and it was a case of the only way things are going to change is that you have to take action you have to be the one in control and and get your power back basically and that is what that surrender procrastination thing is making me think now now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success like yeah the only way you're going to free yourself or move forward is if you take action you can't wait for anyone to rescue you but anyway let's um let's look at justice and judgment got king of pentacles again so you're there twice It's, I'm getting the words doing what needs to be done with that King of Pentacles. Or doing what it takes. Got Nine of Swords there as well. Ten of Swords. Well, that's good because that's a progression, isn't it? Nine and ten. Anything else? Six of Cups. Anything else? Knight of Cups and I'll leave it there and you've got the Knight of Cups twice as well. It does feel like doing what needs to be done, especially since you've got the King of Pentacles twice. You've got the Knight of Cups twice. So I'd say you are doing what needs to be done to, um, for your own benefit, to be frank. Um, I mean, the Judgment card here in this particular um, deck looks like someone going off on their own path, doesn't it? And doing what's right for them. In the in the last attempt I did for you, you got a soul's path card. I don't know if I'll be able to find it in the deck now. Um, but it said surrender to, yeah, it was this card you got previously, surrender to your soul's path, and you got a, the tower kept on coming out with it. Um, your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. You could be learning something as well, um, learning lessons from past experiences. You've got Six of Cups there with the Judgment and Justice cards as well. But I'd say based on that, what you've learned, um, you are ready to, to do what needs to be done 
for, for your own benefit. Shall we get one? Let's get one for that six of cups. The moon that came up a lot in the previous attempts about things that are hidden and learning from that, that things aren't always as they seem. Hierophant. Yeah, it's it's giving that same feeling of um, things learning fr from past experience where things haven't been as they appeared. Um, not having the, the whole story, the whole truth, potentially. The Hierophant, I mean, Capricorns do have, to me, I feel like Capricorns have high standards. Um, and with that Hierophant card, that's like that can be associated with morals as well, can't it? So there's a possibility that in some way, shape or form, you were potentially deceived in terms of a group, a person, a situation's moral value. I don't know where that's coming from, but moral value. But you didn't have the whole the the whole truth, the big picture, the whole picture. Let's get one more after that page of so yeah. This kept on coming out, the death card. Um so something had to end and I did say in the previous reading that something potentially there was a, a situation that was there that was never meant to last and it was for your soul's growth um potentially for you to be awakened yeah to learn king of swords um to gain knowledge to gain insights as opposed to it being something that was long lasting but we'll leave that there I'm going to put these back in the deck because I don't want to take out too many clarifiers and have none left for the rest of the reading. So key themes here are, I think you may have learned to do what needs to be done. You've clearly had disappointments in the past. Um, something's finished. You may be reviewing that and now moving forward from that. So your title's probably gonna be doing what needs to be done. <laughs> Let's look at your specific energy, the Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups. It's like you've tapped I'd say you've tapped into your emotions more from whatever's happened. Um, whatever's happened, you've tapped into that more. And but you are as a as an earth sign, I think you are going to use how you feel practically, if that makes any sense. But we'll see. Um, yeah, there's definitely been some kind of I mean, epiphanies possibly have come in here, and I think you are. I mean, if the fool show, I wouldn't be surprised if the fool shows up. You are ready to um. To take more of a risk and probably with Capricorn it would be more of a calculated risk but still a risk. The risk for you would probably be to trust your heart and how you feel rather than to rely on, on practical evidence or logic to, to move forward. So you may have learned that it's okay to trust your heart um, depending on the, if, you, if the decisions you've made in the past were all very practical and logical you may have learned that okay that's I can't rely on that 100 percent I have to allow my heart to guide me as well so five of ones I would say it's a challenge you've overcome is tapping into your emotions potentially or tapping into your emotions more not to say that you're a robot or anything like that or you're cold but you may not have trusted yet you may have trusted not have trusted your emotions as much before but it looks like you've overcome a challenge with that this may also be conflicts that you've overcome as well and now you go into a new cycle and you are ready to take on the challenge of going into a new cycle right two of pentacles eight of swords this is potentially what you've what you're moving out of then you're moving out of an old cycle of that into this one where you're balancing a lot of things physically. Some things may have made you feel restrained. Okay, bear with me. That has lost itself down the side of a bunch of books. Okay, no, it's fallen on top. I was just about to say, and this hanged man for, card for me is often about, well, it can be about beliefs. It's, there's other elements to it as well. But I was going to say, with that two of pentacles, I wonder if you are balancing something about other people's moral moral values and principles with your own in a weird sort of way. I don't really know how that would work, but that's the thought I got. And then that hanged man card came out as well. Um, so that's quite strange. Let's clarify the eight of swords on its own just to see. Ten of cups. You felt it's like you felt held back from your own happiness. So it wouldn't surprise me if you're trying to balance other people's beliefs and even beliefs, because I, I think I mentioned in the last reading for you something about people judging the things that you do, everything, everything about you and your life. Um, and focusing on that, those judgments from other people and caring too much about how, what they think 
will hold you back from your own happiness. I'll get one more. Yep, you were held back from what you want in some way, shape or form. And obviously, it's a, it's a general reading, so it will apply to people differently, but there was something where you were held back from what you really wanted or wanted to do or from your own happiness in some way. Um, but I suspect your beliefs have changed now. And as I say, it's like you've tapped into your emotions more and you probably trust your emotions more. Maybe you've realised through acting practically or based on other people's morals. I've taken that card and I didn't mean to, did I? Too late. <laughs> um, you, maybe you realise you weren't honouring yourself and you realise that the only way to truly honour yourself is letting your emotions... Not say letting them lead you completely and you throw all logic and practicality out the window, but you have to allow the emotions in as well. Um, otherwise, it's just not going to be fulfilling. Let's have a look at the Eight of Swords. So I was thinking, could that be another person? But I feel like it's probably more the impact of um, the impact from other people or, or external situations. So why is that Eight of Swords there, please? Yeah, Five of Pentacles and Justice. So that's where. This is where you free yourself, I think. It's an energy of being trapped and where you've needed to free yourself from whatever's kept you feeling trapped. And you know what's strange? The bird there, you've got the bird there. And birds can be considered to be spiritual messengers. So it's all almost like the bird was there, like ready to give you insights, messages, whatever, to tell you, to help you out. But because your hands were tied, you were blindfolded, you couldn't even see the bird and get the message from that. Anything else for that Eight of Swords, please? I don't know if you've if you've been literally left out in well not literally but I don't know if you've been left out in the cold by others probably a bit of both where you've been left out of the cold and you've left something behind as well as part of that process this is that soul's journey card that did come up in the last reading I think the hermit came up a few times um where it literally feels like you you've just freeing yourself and going off on your own path going on your soul's journey deciding what it is you want and how you want to do it Yep, deciding where you want to give and how and balance as well of equal give and take. Um, you may have been involved with situations where it just didn't feel like there was equal give and take. I'll get one more for that. Yeah, the death card again. This death card is going to keep showing up. It's, it showed up multiple times in the last reading. Yeah, that is it worth it card where where you where there was give and take before in situations and, and relationships with people, whether it's romantic or non-romantic, you um, it, it's a case of was it worth it? But again, it's like something needed to end. Let's get a clarifier for that death card since it keeps on showing up so much and try to understand a bit more about what it, what it represents, what it means. All I'm getting from that is freeing yourself, basically. Um, it's like you've needed to free yourself. You've really needed to free yourself and go off on your own path with the chariot and the knight of wands coming up there. So let's put these back. So the external energy is one that impacted you in a way where you felt trapped, it kept you trapped and you've just been needing to free yourself. Um, the call of the night. Let's look at that sun card. That to me, as I say, that could be where the illumination came in. But let's see. Clarify the sun, please. I mean, it could be where you were once happy, but it does feel more like illumination to me. And you have the two of swords and the chariot again. Anything else? Nope, not quite. The Queen of Pentacles. Six of Swords, yeah. Let's get one more for that. Queen of Cups and the Sun again. I was gonna say it really does feel like you've been illuminated or enlightened and then the Sun came out again. Um, yeah, I feel, I really feel like you've been enlightened about something. 
you've got the two of swords there so that may it's it's like I really do feel like you probably have gone through or are going through a major transformation or a um, awakening and f feel free to share in the comments if that's something you're experiencing. Um, two of swords there for me is where you would have begun to trust your instincts. If anything felt wrong or whatever felt right, you've decided to move towards or away from whatever it, whatever's relevant. Um, to me, this Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn card. It represents Capricorn, but it's about your values, yourself included. You value yourself, you value your beliefs, you value everything about yourself and your life and your choices, don't you? Six of Swords. To me, this is the Hermit assisting this person towards their peace. Um, and in the box is what they hold sacred to them. That would be their values, whatever, whatever's valuable to them. And the Hermit, that's your inner knowing, assisting you to karma waters. You've got your emotions there with the Queen of Cups. So the, the emotions could be part of what's here, part of what you value. Maybe you've learned to value your emotions a lot more, as well as the um, the practical, logical side of things in life. But it really feels like enlightenment. This is where you've been enlightened in the past. So, and it could be recent past. It could be a week ago, even. Um, but it does, it really does feel like some sort of transformation and awakening. So current energy, King of Pentacles here. And that's where you take what you've learned, you take those beliefs and you use them practically to build, to build your life, to build yourself up as well. So what do we need to know about the King of Pentacles? Where did that go? You have Temperance, that was the one that came out first, followed by the Three of Wands. So I would say that's where you're restoring harmony in your life and potentially healing. Three of Wands is where you're manifesting what you want. You're putting your intentions out there about what you want to build. Anything else for that King of Pentacles, please? The Devil. I feel that's what you're probably overcoming, but let's see what else comes out. I may have to clarify that on its own if it feels like it's not clear enough. God, your cards are going all over the place. This is about your foundations. I mean, it could literally be about home. I mean, you could be building a new home or a new home life, but um, that is your foundations in general, your stability. I am gonna clarify the devil on its own in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, do I wanna take that? And yeah, it's a star in reverse. Well, you've got a lot here. So you've got the Fool, which was followed by the Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles and the Star. So this is that daring card, um, that adventure, the call of the night, daring adventure, excitement. I would say that you are reconsidering what you want your foundation, your stability and your legacy to be with these cards that have come up here because you've got the Ten of Pentacles and Four of Cups for me here. It's not so much about disappointment, it's about contemplation. You've got the star. Let's get one for the star on its own. Why is the star in reverse? I mean, it could be that you are, because you are in the process of deciding that you have a new dream and it hasn't obviously you're in the process so it's not completely upright why is the star in reverse please yeah deciding what seed you want to plant now um what do you want to grow what do you want to build so there's yeah there's nothing much i can get from that it's the king of pentacles isn't it what do you want to what do you want to build what do you want to grow what do you want your new foundation to be and to be based on as well as what you want it to be You have the lovers in the future. So to me, that already says that you will be choosing what you love. Again, honouring your emotions, your desires, your heart's desire, as opposed to going too far down the practical route. You might be reassessing your morals um, as well. So what do we need to know about this lover's card, please? Queen of Swords. I would say you're standing up for what you love, whether that be a person... Um, oh, I don't know when that came out, so I'm going to put it there. Yeah, whether that be a person, a job, a lifestyle even. And I've lost my candle. I'm going to need to put a new candle up, but just bear with me a minute. Okay, so I was saying that this is where the Queen of Swords is where I feel you're standing up for what you love. And Six of Wands to me often looks like someone rising up, um, like an uprising. So let's see what else comes out for that 
lovers card you have the three of cups i'm not going to take the empress because she felt that weird three of cups for me is where you want genuine support whatever you're doing you want genuine support and people who are genuinely happy for you that will genuinely celebrate with you um if there've been situations where you've been around people who aren't genuine or things haven't haven't been as they appeared you you really want genuine only genuine and genuinely supportive people now genuine connections as well whether it's friends family romantic relationships whatever you won't be settling you won't be settling at all yep nine of cups that's where you want you want complete satisfaction and fulfillment page of swords i think you have a more open mind um you will have an, a more open mind. Let's clarify the page of swords on its own. This is about communication. So you may be communicate more openly as well. Um, anything else? <laughs> There's the tower that I was expecting. Okay, go on. Why is the tower there? Follow on from the tower. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, that's just confusing now. So let's get one for let's get one for the tower on its own. That does not help. How how is the moon clarifying the tower? <laughs> okay. Um yeah, this came up in a previous reading about about um you may be hiding something to yourself and others may not have been completely honest with you as well. So this may be where you might be communicating something um revealing the truth that is very very shocking to someone. Let's get another one from that moon to follow on from that mood card. Moon card, not mood card. Right, yeah. You may be revealing something very very shocking about the direction that you want to take your life in or a, a seed you want to plant. I mean, romantically yes it could be it could be related to that i mean you could surprise someone with an engagement who knows um that is a possibility because the ace of pentacles i mean there are other cards that people say are to do with engagement as well but um ace of pentacles it's a solid commitment isn't it so who knows you could if you you could be proposing to someone and it's a shock either way it's um it's almost like you're communicating or expressing something um that is very very shocking but the, it, there's something new there's something about newness here as well maybe this is new to you this way of communicating or this thing you're communicating like say if you're someone who keeps things to yourself a lot in general it might be new for you to open openly communicate or to express yourself so openly and what is this clarifying the lovers oh wow it could actually be an engagement i was kind of being slightly not joking but but it is a possibility with that coming out. Um, let's get one. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? That's Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords clarifying the Knight of Wands in reverse. It could be... Okay, this is what I'm getting from this and this is strange, but... Say if there was something that you tried, that you attempted in the past and it was all very sudden and happened very quickly, but it also, it also fell apart very quickly. It could be something that you're going back to try again. Um, I don't know that that's what's come into mind here with that um, night of, night of ones in reverse. It could have been where you were a bit more and it sounds strange for Capricorn, doesn't it? But you were, maybe you didn't trust something in the past or maybe you weren't ready to invest in something in the past. Um, but f maybe now you are. Maybe you've grown up a bit in some sense and you're ready for that. And it would be something that matched your cup. Um, yeah, it would be something that matched your cup, matched your energy and allowed you to feel empowered or it had the potential to make you feel empowered but for whatever reason you just didn't you didn't stick with it in the past or it could be something that you wanted to do in the past but you didn't this is going to sound harsh didn't have the balls to do it to be frank okay that's a weird one let's um okay let's let's be done with that then that was a weird one 
But something's clearly changed and you're ready, you're probably ready to do it now. I mean, you did get the surrender procrastination card. So yeah, it very well could be something that you didn't quite get round to in the past and now you're going to try it again. But it looks like some kind of a sh shocking, sudden, dramatic um, communication potentially there or shocking news that would shock a lot of people. <laughs> And it's relating to you standing up for something that you love. Right, let's look at temperance there. That advice to me says it's about bringing things back into balance, back into harmony. And maybe the way to do that, as I say, is by taking action and pursuing what it is you want and what you want to do. So let's clarify temperance. You have strength, yep. Yeah. You would need strength to restore balance. Four of Swords is healing. So I would say courage and healing with those cards there. Anything else for Capricorn? King of Wands. That would be where you get your strength back. That would be where you have healed, you have courage, and you are able to pursue the things or thing that you want now. He wouldn't procrastinate at all. So I'd say that is definitely the energy that you need to, to embody. He's pretty determined as well, isn't he? So we have the Two of Cups and Three of Pentacles. That's where you would be determined um, and take action to do something that, that matches your energy, to get what your heart wants and to bring things together. Okay, I think we've got enough from that, to be honest, and that's your advice. So your your guidance is bring things back into harmony by being courageous you need if you need time to heal or to contemplate what you've been through in the past do it and then you will have the energy all of the energy that you need to to move forward with whatever it is you want to move forward with let's get you a final card of advice from the african goddess rising deck I feel quite tired after doing your reading Capricorn and you're only my second reading for the day but I mean I suppose I did attempt your reading multiple times so that could be why I'm tired but you may be very tired you may have been through a lot and you're very tired but I think you you're still going to keep going you are you will still keep going and especially when you become excited about something and inspired about something you get that rush and adrenaline adrenaline and everything don't you and then you just yeah that boosts you so that you can go and pursue what it is you want to pursue so final card of guidance for Capricorn. This does make sense in a strange way. You have, I don't even know I'm going to put these now. We'll put it here. Self-sabotage. I think it says Mam, Mam Lambo, if I'm reading that correctly. And you have Sekhmet, Wounded Healer. And that does make sense for you. You may have sabotaged yourself in the past. Um especially if you didn't trust your instincts how you feel then it's like a, um you, you need balance basically we need to we need to use all of the element elements to make decisions in a balanced way and that doesn't even necessarily mean you need equal amounts of everything but there needs to be harmonies whenever you're making decisions especially things that affect your entire life you need a bit of emotion you need practic practicality logic inspiration and it depends on the situation. It's like a recipe, isn't it, of how much you'll need of each thing based on each situation. Whatever this particular situation is, I would say that it required more emotion than you were giving it, to be frank. So let's read these messages for you from this book. So Mam Lambo, Shadow of Self-Sabotage, um, Shadow Monster Mamlambo is the brain-sucking, snake-like, water-dwelling Zulu goddess of rivers. You are holding yourself apart from your blessings. What ancient pain are you trying to stuff down, numb, ignore or avoid? What does your self-sabotage help you to avoid? Your inner saboteur is clever. Seductive patterns of behaviour block your path and your power. Distractions addictions, cravings and unhealthy habits will not bring you your best. Your inner bully is the voice telling you you messed up. The part of you that is jealous, the anger you don't know what to do with, your stuck inner procrastinator, which is there, and your toxic relationship choices. Stop terrorising yourself with broken promises of discipline. Instead, choose devotion to your chosen pathways. What inspired action can you take today? 
The declaration says I have compassion for myself. It matches perfectly, to be honest, so I can't even say anything to add to that. Right, let's do that Sekhmet Wounded Healer, which I imagine if you're a self, if you have been self-sabotaging, then yeah, Wounded Healer matches. Right, Sekhmet, Goddess of Wounded Healers. Sekhmet is the fierce Egyptian goddess of war, the sun, and healing. She carries a life force in her palm and the power to create or destroy. Heal thyself. Everyone gets your best except you. You are a healer among your tribe. Stop putting your needs last. When did you decide to become a martyr? Take a breath. Wounded healers hold sadness, rage and fears of brokenness. Being a warrior wasn't a choice for our beloved foremothers. They did the best they could. But being a goddess warrior for us is knowing that we have the choice not to fight all the time. Deep dive questions. What are your swords, the weapons you use to fight? And what are your shields, the ways you defend yourself? Dare to lay the burdens down along with your swords and shields. And the declaration says it is safe to put myself first. I think those messages go perfectly with this reading, Capricorn. Um, so yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Um, if you would like this book, this very, very vintage tarot handbook, again, um, send me an email. And whoever wins it, if anybody wants it, will be announced on my birthday on the 13th of October. Feel free to leave your comments um, in the comments section. Thank you for watching the video and until the next reading, take care.